Welcome to part 2 of my Mastering the Tombs of a Mascot series. In this episode, we're focusing on one of the four paths in TOA, the Path of Head and the Boss Aka. I'm already somewhat familiar with the basic mechanics of Aka and today we're going to focus on advanced mechanics. These mechanics are the Butterfly Kiting Method and Feeling Special Fast Memory Puzzle. Also, I'm gonna go through how the mechanics will change when you level up the path with certain invocations. I'm excited to learn this new tech, let's see how I'll manage. First, I'm going to show you how the puzzle room is done. It's a fairly simple light puzzle, if you've done Song of the Elves you hate this word, but this one is okay-ish in my opinion. The objective is to connect the light coming from one statue to the other. This is done with using the static and movable mirrors in the room. Once the light beam connects, the obelisk in the middle becomes mineable. There's two different factors that contribute to damage dealt on this obelisk. These are your mining level and the pickaxe that you're using. If you're plus 85 mining and you're using a dragon pickaxe, it is possible to complete this room with just one mining cycle, but you have to be tick perfect with it. Otherwise, you'll need to solve a second light puzzle as well. Once the obelisk reaches zero health, you can deposit your pickaxe to the statue and move on to the next room. Now it's time to learn our first method, the butterfly. The idea is to move on the marked tiles in each quadrant and only attack Aka on the south and north tiles until the shadows spawn. Once that happens, just keep doing the same cycle but instead of Aka, I attack the shadows. You can either go clockwise or anti-clockwise, but I decided to go clockwise when learning. This method is highest damage output when using the Tumekan Shadow, as you can hit every 5 game ticks, which is the speed of the staff. Also, Aka can change his stance if he can't hit you, and it's possible to just have him chase you in his melee form for the main part of the fight, resulting in no damage taken. Having the butterfly fundamentals covered, there's still a few things to mention. If your staff noodles on the shadows and you can't finish them in time before they explode, you might have to perform the DPS check skip. I haven't mastered this one at all and I usually just try to run from the center of the quadrant towards the edge as the shadow hits his weapon on the ground. Also, you might have to stop for a slight moment if Akka does his special attack. After this special attack you'll start spawning orbs in front and behind of you. You can still continue the butterfly, but don't stop on the side tiles as if you stop you'll explode to an orb. Transitioning between quadrants can also be very tricky and you might have to tank a hit from Akka while doing this. It's okay, but make sure you've got your melee prey on just in case. The other method that I had to learn was Feeling Special Invocation, aka the Fast Memory Puzzle. This one is very straightforward. Once Akka does his special, where he disappears and the four center icons light up in order, the explosions will happen way faster and you've got to move immediately after each explosion. This is where the path level up on Akka also comes into play. When Akka is level 0 or 1, there will be 4 icons that light up. If he's leveled up to 2 or 3, there will be 5 icons. And finally, if he is level 4 or higher, there will be 6 icons lighting up. I highly recommend counting the amount of lights and trying to remember the order so you're ready to move when the explosions happen. With these techniques, I've managed to get to the final phase of Akka somewhat consistently. As for my 500 invo attempts, where I can't use any food, I've noticed that I tend to need the liquid adrenaline active for the final phase, the white ball madness. This is mass madness, you maniacs! I'm not sure I can give you any real gamer advice. You have to summon your inner Neo and perform some matrix dodges. I would definitely prioritize moving away from the balls and avoiding damage, but still trying to maximize the damage on boss when there's no immediate danger. Liking the video and subscribing to my channel might be a good idea as you made it this far in the video. Regardless, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Peace!